The 2023 Infiniti QX55. This is a SUV coupe styled vehicle that was initially introduced in 2022 and it's one of their more entry level SUV products. However, for 2023, we see some new changes and before we get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe as you are entering. Okay, we have a couple more amenities and driver assistance technologies. And we also have something known as the Infinity Premium Care Service. These are the primary changes for 2023. So let's talk about some of these specifics. All the trim levels are going to be getting blind spot monitoring and the Infinity Pro Pilot Assist Semi-Autonomous Driving System. This is going to include adaptive cruise control and lane departure steering assist. Another thing I really appreciate, they kind of took this out of BMW's book. They are offering three years of premium care maintenance that covers things like the inspections and schedule maintenance, such as oil changes and tire rotations. For a long time, BMW was one of the few companies along with Genesis that offered three years of free maintenance. And I'm glad that Infinity is also offering the same level of service. As far as the new technology goes, the entire model lineup now gets leather seating, auto folding, heated exterior mirrors. We also have four-way power lumbar adjustments for the driver's seat and USB-C charging for the rear passengers. The essential trim level, which is essentially the mid trim, which most people are going to be purchasing, will get traffic sign recognition software and adaptive front lighting and auto leveling LED headlights as standard in that essential trim. And the top of the line sensory model is going to get heated rear seats and four way lumbar support for the passenger seat. Another change which is not so welcome is a price bump. So now the base model luxury trim is going to start at $50,345. The mid-level essential is going to be $55,445 and the top of the line sensory will set you back $58,995. Pretty pricey considering the fact that this utilizes a turbocharged four cylinder engine that makes 268 horsepower in conjunction with a CVT transmission. The good news is all wheel drive does come standard with the QX55. You can expect to get 22 MPGs in the city, 28 on the highway, and 25 combined. I know on paper, this QX55 doesn't really look that great, especially for the price. However, I will say this, Nissan Infiniti CVT transmission programming and tuning is rather good. I mean, their CVT transmissions perform and react better than even most traditional automatic transmissions. So. I don't really mind it from that perspective, and I'm gonna assume most people are just gonna lease and dump this. Unfortunately, I haven't seen too many good lease deals going on for Infinity products, whereas Nissan products are leasing out great right now. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, I wish the Infinity products would follow suit, especially in today's economy, because you know luxury cars, they depreciate rapidly especially these little turbo four-cylinder things. These are very disposable vehicles. I wish they would offer amazing lease deals, but it's an attractive looking SUV. I do like it. I think some of the nicer colors like red really makes the car stand out. But let me know in the comment section, would you purchase this QX55? If yes, let us know why. If not, also let us know and tell us which vehicle that you would rather have instead of this QX55. If you're an owner, let us know how it's holding up for you. Thanks again for watching. I'll have the next video on the end screen here and I will see you there.